Hi everyone, welcome back to the Secrets Robot channel. This is Jackson, and today we are diving deep into the world of RTK technology. What exactly is RTK and why is it so critical to your boat? So let's break it up, and by the end of this video, you will understand how our RTK system keeps your boat on track, no matter the condition. Let's get started. So let's start with the basic. What is RTK? So RTK stands for Real Time Kinematic. It's a satellite navigation technique that boosts the precision of position data from the system, like GPS. Normally, the GPS on your smartphone can get you within two to four meters of your actual position. Not too bad for data use, but not precise enough for a more demanding task. But RTK takes it to the next level, bringing the accuracy down just a few centimeters. So how does it do that? It's all about adjustment. So RTK uses two devices. One's called the base. One is called the rubber. And the base is actually set up at a known location where it calculates its GPS position compares it to its true known position. And any difference between the two is called an error. And we're just gonna send it to the rubber, allowing it to adjust its own position. The rubber, in all cases, your will fine tune its position by using correction data. For your boat itself, it always calculates its own position by using the uh, vision through the cameras and the track that the distance, uh, how long it has turned, and also we have uh, the signal we directly to receive from the satellite. And also, Yarbo features IMU technology, or inertial measurement units. It's where it helps Yarbo accurately measure its turning angles as Yarbo navigates. The IMU ensures it maintains precise direction, orientation, movement around your yard. But it's not always perfect. There are some potential effects, like the bumping ground, or the cameras got blurred, or any obstacle. Uh, those kind of affect the accuracy of your boat. That's why we have the base station or data sensor, so it provides precise reference point, correcting any errors in your boat's calculations. So this ensures your boat always know where exactly it is and can make any adjustment to stay on course. Now let's dive into how your boat uses RTK to know exactly where it is in your yard. It also satellites and signals back to the time to this data. Your boat system including the base station, what we call the data center. And the rubber receive these signals and calculate the time it takes for them to travel from the satellite. However, satellite signal can be affected by factors like the atmosphere, weather conditions, or obstacles like trees and buildings. That's where the base is having incorrect errors, sending accurate position to the rubber. And if the rubber gets too tricky, the rubber doesn't just rely on RTK. It combines data from its cameras and real sensors to stay on track, ensuring a centimeter level accuracy even in a complex environment. Now let's talk about how Yarbo has taken RTK technology to the next level without further for updates. First off, we've reinforced the antennas of the rubber uh, with two new mount options. One is low, one is high. The high mount is perfect for winter, avoiding snow cover, and low mount is for summer minimizing the interference from the shrubs and the branches. And switching between them is as easy as unscrewing free screws. But that's not all. We've also integrated the antenna and the base into a centralized data center, eliminating the need for a feeder cable. This change significantly improves data transmission accuracy, with a signal transmission range of up to 1,000 meters in open areas and around 200 meters when obstacles are present. The data center is now placed outside, Taking advantage of Wi Fi Halo technology, this tag provides better range, penetration, and lower power consumption, ensuring your robot can operate in any environment with maximum efficiency. To get the most out of your new data center, we strongly recommend placing it at the highest point on your roof with a clear 120 degree signal angle. By positioning it this way, you will maximize the efficiency and performance of the data center, ensuring it delivers the best possible results for your robot system. And now, let's answer some of the common questions we get about RTK. What does it mean if the RTK indicator stops flashing red? Is this something that should be concerned about? So, if the RTK indicator is flashing red, so this typically means the signal is weak, often due to weather conditions like cloudy or rainy days. One solution is to move your Yerbo to an open area and wait for 60 to 100 seconds to regain signal. 
I've noticed that sometimes the RTK signal seems weak or unstable. What could be causing this and how can I improve signal strength? And another issue could be the communication problem between the base and the rubber. So this might happen if there is some obstacle between them. So for example, some people, they want to leave their yardable into their garage. So please not to do that. So a quick fix is to move your yardable to a different location or check if the antenna on the rubber is damaged. And that's how our 2024 RTP system keeps your wolf operating smoothly, no matter conditions. We've made significant improvements to ensure greater accuracy, reliability, and ease of use. So the next time when your wolf is out in the yard, you will know that it's backed by some seriously advanced tech. So if you guys found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to our channel for more in-depth tech breakdowns. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. This is Jackson from your home. I'll see you guys next time.